IB Times UK has come down to Outsourcery to meet its founder and CEO, Piers Linney. We're here to talk to the Dragon's Den star about his new project, workinsight.org. The platform enables young people to connect with employers to get much needed work experience. Work experience demand for it is growing exponentially and policy is driving it too. So that's growing, but supply is stagnant. So yes, there are people that get involved in work experience, large companies, you know, the odd person may ask their dad to get, some, get, you know, get them in somewhere, but that's not scalable. So you need something which can scale it up. So what I'm trying to do is, if you want to scale something, you've got to simplify and productize it. So turn the work, the work experience of two weeks, of two days learning something, and maybe the rest of it photocopying or making the tea, into an insight. It's a workplace insight. Short, it's sweet, it's bite-sized. Mm. That means you can create lots of them. Then use the digital platform to connect young people with employers. But the secret in all of that is there's no selection criteria. So mm. in my experience, and lots of people's experience, there are huge barriers to getting into various professions. Due to your background, there's always bias, even human bias. Take that out of the equation to level the playing field. Mm. You mentioned academic qualifications and history got GCSE results out and I was just wondering do you think attitude and initiative are more important than qualifications such as GCSEs or are they equally important to someone's career? Um, it's a mixture of everything isn't it so you've got to have table stakes so you know you, you can't aspire to be a barrister if you haven't got the right qualifications so it depends on really understanding the path of who you are where you are and where you want to get to now along the way, there are certain things you have to have. And you know, what I'm trying to do with Work Insight as well is provide table stakes. If you do an insight in marketing, PR and say advertising, when you go for an interview for a job, a course, an apprenticeship, an internship or long work experience, you can talk about your experience, you've got those table stakes. And that's what we're trying to give. Because if you, if you sometimes go to a, have a quite privileged background, your social network, school network will open those doors for you in many ways. So you've got, to have a table, you've got to have those table stakes, qualifications, and then it is about you, initiative, extracurricular activity, what you add to that package, because you are selling yourself on the labour market. You're obviously in the technology industry now, and do you think anything's changed from you know, your own experience in the city and now in technology, which a lot of people have criticised the industry, you, know, you don't see a lot of uh, you know, ethnic minority uh, backgrounds in the top jobs or a lot of women in the technology sector. Do you think things need to change there? Um, one of the reasons I do a lot of things that I do and I'm involved in is because I'm half West Indian, half English. <clears throat> um, and I'm usually the only person that looks like me of my background, especially Caribbean background, in the room. You know, mm. Be it a, an award ceremony, be it a black tie ball, be it a meeting. It's very rare I meet myself mm. and that's got to change. Mm. Um, mm. It, it amazes me. You know, I've been in a lawyer, I've been an investment banker, I've done lots of different things and the technology industry especially, you know, you go, it's, it's mostly guys mm. Uh, mm. and, you know, it's a pretty samey looking group in many ways. Mm. I think generally across all sectors, it's got to change.